After my awakening, I needed answers to how the universe worked and my place in it. But because I didn't totally trust my intuition yet, I turned to pendulum dowsing to get those answers. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use your pendulum, and I'll also be performing a pendulum clearing activation, which you can participate in just by watching the video and holding the pendulum in your hand. The first thing you have to do, if you haven't already, is choose your pendulum. The rules for this are really not that complicated. Some say that you shouldn't choose pendulums that have crystals on them because the crystals contain their own vibrational frequency and that could influence your answers. Uh, but I don't really think it matters that much, especially if you clear it and you set the intention that you're going to be speaking to or hearing from your higher self or the source of universal knowledge. When I first started out, I just looked for something in the house that had a string and something sw slightly heavy at the end to balance it out. <laughs> what I found was a, a grill spatula that had the little string that you can hook on to a hook on your grill. I'm sure I looked completely ridiculous holding my grill spatula and waiting for it to rotate to, to get my answers, <laughs> but it worked. So I don't think it really matters that much. You definitely want to, though, when you're choosing the pendulum that you want, to pick it out by hand yourself, rather than ordering it online and not really knowing what it feels like to you. So just use your, your best judgment, which one feels right, which one looks right to you, and that'll be the right one. The first thing you want to do with your new pendulum is to clear it to remove any unwanted energies, vibrations, uh, frequencies. And to do this, there's a couple of ways. You can bury it in the dirt overnight. Um, you can set your own intention and, and clear it with your own process. But to make it a little bit easier, I thought we would go ahead and do a quick activation. So if you just hold the pendulum in your right hand and close your eyes, I'm going to give an, a verbal activation that will clear the pendulum for you. Oh, I can. Okay. You can open your eyes. It's that simple. And so now your pendulum is cleared. I work with an extra-dimensional collective called the Hathors, which are similar to the Pleiadians or the Arcturians, to do my activations. So if you've subscribed to my channel, you can receive activations for all kinds of different things, not just pendulum clearing. And now all you need to do is set your intention so that the information that you'll receive through the pendulum comes from the best and highest source. So to do this, you can simply, once again, close your eyes with the pendulum in your hand and make a statement. I intend so that when I use this pendulum, the guidance and information that I receive comes directly from my higher self or the source of universal knowledge. And it is provided for me for my highest good and for all the world's highest good. And so once you've done that, you can open your eyes and now to use the pendulum itself. This is a very simple process. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it comfortably in your hand and allow it to dangle freely. If you need to, you can support your arm with your other hand in case you're getting tired or you've been doing it for a while, but you don't wanna hold it up here because that maybe will ground it a little bit too much. You want some of that free flowing movement to come through your arm. And what you'll do is you'll just simply say, show me yes. And what you'll notice is that the pendulum starts to rotate or it starts to swing right and left or left and, or front and back. And what's happening right now is that it is rotating counterclockwise. So that is my answer for yes. And then I simply say, show me no. And then you hold it for a moment and already it's starting to, to rotate clockwise. And so now I know what yes and no are. And then you can say, I would like for you to show me maybe. And you can see then what maybe looks like. 
Okay, so in this case for me, it's it's rotating counterclockwise, but it is very subtle. It's a much more subtle rotation as opposed to the wide rotation. And this can be different depending on the pendulum, depending on you. And in the case of my spatula, it just moved right and left or for one way, or you know, left and right for the other way, or actually it was front and back for the other way. So for no. So it doesn't really matter. You just have to have it tell you what you want. And then you simply ask yes, no questions. And some people say that the best way to ask is to actually just make a positive statement. I have incarnated here on earth more than 10 times. And then you wait to see whether that is a yes or a no. And then you could say, oh, I've incarnated here on earth more than 30 times. And you could narrow that in. Whatever that it is that your question is, go ahead and ask it. Now, one thing that I would recommend is that you do not ask questions about the future. You can, and you will get answers. But the problem is that there are many timelines. And so maybe in this particular moment, on this particular timeline, this prediction that you're making will come true. But so many factors come into play and change your timeline. It can also cause you to get rutted into a particular timeline that maybe you wouldn't like after all. There may be some other options that you would prefer, but because you believe so strongly that that's what's going to happen, you move down that particular timeline depending on your prediction. For a little explanation as to how this works, you're receiving the information from your higher self or from the voice of universal knowledge. And when you're holding the pendulum still, what's actually happening is your, your arm is slightly moving because your body knows the answer to the question. The, the, the motions are so subtle, you can barely even tell that it's happening. And if you were to put the, the hang your, your pendulum on a hook and ask the same questions, nothing would happen at all because it's all coming from within you. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about pendulum dowsing from a scientific perspective, then I highly recommend you watch Naza Nalani's video on the same topic that's coming out at about the same time. I'll provide a link to that in the description below. Once you've mastered the pendulum, I really encourage you to go ahead and start to try to get the information without using the pendulum. The pendulum, first of all, is slow and clunky. If you need a quick answer, it's hard to get it. You've got to get your pendulum out and do all these things to get that one answer to your question. But also, it's kind of a crutch. And so I really encourage you to reach deep within and ask your inner master the answers to your questions instead of relying on this external object. And I actually have a video that you can watch about talking to your inner master and I'll put the link above right here. If you're interested in more activations from me, you can download this Nervousness Relief Activation, which is really quite powerful and amazing when you are about to do something that would normally make you nervous, or if you are in kind of a nervous state all the time or an anxiety state, this will help relieve that feeling from you instantaneously. And you can download this from my website and you can find the link in the description below to do so. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you on your path to ascension. You can click the like button, you can subscribe and click on the bell icon, and you can watch these other videos to learn more about what I do and get some free and amazing activations. I'll see you on the next one.